I tell you, that's a bold prayer, and uh, it's a bold desire, but it's real. And if you're involved in something or thinking towards something or making a decision in the wrong direction and even make it and get into it, if God causes, if, if God breaks up your works and causes it to fall through, and then you lean on Him and realize your mistake and fall on Him, you can get a lot of glory. <clears throat> I don't mean, I mean, God will get the glory, but you can get a lot of His glory in you out of it. And exactly. uh, a lot of joy and peace. And and uh, there's a real reality that in, in His embrace, you know, your weaknesses really are made strong. I remember the when my father died, and I was very close to my father for a long number of years, and he died suddenly uh, about three and a half years ago and Elisha and I found him in fact at his house and and it was um, it was bad it was really uh, my whole body soul and spirit just felt like it was literally on fire for about a day and a half with the pain and and uh, I was in the room I was in my praying room about a night and a half two nights after he died and was making all the arrangements and dealing with all of that and um, and uh, I had a real complicated estate ahead of me to sort out and deal with and but I was feeling such a heaviness and, and such a pain of it uh, that uh, I told the Lord in the room I said Lord I, I've seen people fall under this pain and never really come out from under it and people not be able to go on with the Lord like they should and everything else and uh, I said, God, I said, I know that that, that can happen to me. I said, I feel like you've got to do something for me right here, right now, or I feel like I'll never come out of this. It, it, it felt like an elephant was sitting on my chest. It really did. And it's like a match was lit to the inner being of my soul. And I, it was really hard to even pray or talk to the Lord because I was so crushed down. And I, but I knew I had to get a hold of him. And so, it was really hard to do, but I just reached out and started praying in the Spirit, you know, in other tongues. And, and it was very difficult to get it going, and it was very difficult to go. But as I reached out with everything that was down in me under all this burden, and I began to pray like that, I hadn't begun probably more than 30 seconds or a minute or so. And I felt the power of God's hand just reach down and pull my entire soul and being up over uh, that the entire hump of that that I was feeling and it was crushing me. And I mean, it was so empowering. And the faith that, that was increased in me and the power of the Spirit that was increased in me, uh, it lasted for several weeks in my prayers and everything. But it was so empowering that moment in that experience that I was actually asking the Lord that if he had anything else for me to suffer or anything else to break me down like that, go ahead and bring it. Because the the glory of being being my weakness being made strong literally by the power of God was just so uh it was just so full of joy and, and uh exhilaration of love and faith and, and, and thankfulness toward him that there's nothing better than that. So, no, I, I don't want more suffering and all that. At that moment, that's what it felt like. And, and I trust that whatever else comes and things have come since then and God's brought me through them too. But uh, And, and there will be more, but uh, nobody wants to suffer pain and be broke down or anything like that. But nonetheless... The Bible says, Romans 8 and 28, that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. So if you just set your, your heart and your face to Him and just with determination that you're not going to be overcome by anything and that you're not going to allow anything uh, that's, not wrong, that's not right and that's not pure, that's not good, that's not holy, that's not of His love and His joy, that you're not going to let anything like that reside in you and use it hold fast to him like that and refuse to accept defeat in anything that I will assure you, my friend, he will cause you to prevail. He will cause you to prevail over giants, over fire, praise be to God, over death. 
He will cause you to prevail over, over all manner of undue circumstances and over all manner of opposition and contradiction of the minds and spirits of men. If you refuse anything and everything other than to have His love dwelling in you, and, and you can you really keep your heart pure and keep your heart with all diligence, He will cause you to prevail. And like I said, in the end, He'll cause you to prevail over death because that's that's what this gospel is all about.